So what do you think of as the big differences in your combat versus your typical MMO combat that players are used to? There's a few things. First, uh, we definitely have a, a smaller sort of number of options available to you at a given time. So basically every choice you make is going to be, every ability you use is powerful, right? I think uh, something that is sort of uh, existed in, in combat systems and in, in MMOs uh, sort of in the past has been that you have this huge selection of abilities available to you and a lot of them are kind of like, well, that's just another dot or that's just another debuff. But uh, instead what you have in our case is every ability is awesome, right? I don't want that sort of, oh, this is going to reduce his damage by 5% ability, right? And no one ever does. And because we have that small number of options available to you in a given time, all of them are really, really cool, right? And then exactly what you choose your, your set to be is, uh, is what makes it really, uh, you, you a unique character. What's your process for making sure that the abilities are that cool and not just, you know, your regular attacks that, okay, well, this is an attack that puts this tiny debuff on or... Well, I mean, it's testing, right? I mean, like that's that's what it that's what it starts from. But honestly, you can tell. Like, it's not super hard when you look at a when you look at a, the description of an ability. If one of the the class designer sends me a description and it says something like decreases my damage by five percent, I go, that doesn't sound interesting. If it says creates a fiery storm that uh, lights everything in the area on fire and then they run into an area and sets that on fire, I go, that sounds pretty cool. So. Talk a little bit about how your your abilities interact with each other, right? Because you have different states that you can put monsters in or players can be put in and stuff on the ground that can interact with other like spells and stuff, right? Uh, well, there's a few things. Um, I think the main one that we're really excited about is the is the synergy system. Um, it's effectively a means by by which players can, can work together in a very direct way, right? Uh, so I will have some abilities that We'll, we'll lay down an area on the ground uh, that is an opportunity for my allies to, to take advantage of. So if I'm a healer, I could put down an area where any of my buddies can go in there and use a heal spell on themselves, right? And they can do that when it's appropriate for them, right? Or if I'm a fire mage, I can put down a fire storm and a, and a warrior could run in there and hit that and start spinning and shooting out fireballs at everyone. That's really cool, by the uh, way. It is, it is super <laughs> awesome, right? So you work with uh, uh, NPC design and, and trying to make the quest encounters and, and PvE encounters interesting. So what kind of tactics do you use to give monsters a, a big enough toolbox and to make them work together to make the day interesting? So Nick went over a little bit of what the classes can do and what the players can do with each other, and those monsters can do the same thing. Uh, so when you walk into an area, you might see a rogue and a mage type uh, NPC together, and you know that the rogue is going to put down a big pool of oil. And normally by itself, that is very good for the monster. It slows you down, it makes it so you can't avoid his attacks as easily. But he also shouts out to his friend, he says, I put down oil, light it on fire! And then the mage will start winding up a big attack and it'll start going towards that oil. And if you're in that oil, when that fire hits, it becomes a giant inferno of death. So it really becomes more strategic versus the NPCs. So you still have a limited uh, amount of options in the combat. But the way that you deploy those options against the NPCs, it was what makes it so dynamic and interesting. Monsters and players do the same sorts of things, right? Uh, it's one unified game system, right? Whether I'm fighting another player or fighting against a monster. And so yes, monsters will use direct synergies like the players will, but they'll also do sort of intelligent things, like ranged monsters will fan out from one another so they don't just stand around and get AoE'd or, or let melee guys hit them, right? With the PvP and PvE things, basically using the same type of uh, synergies and abilities, you're, you're already, you're, your hands are already to go right into combat. Right, I mean, you've definitely learned that uh, from, from a monster, from a fire mage, from a, from a uh, you know, a, a foot soldier type monster bidding, getting ready to do a big power attack on you, you've learned, okay, it's, it's time to block now, yeah. right? And then when that same thing happens in PvP, it's absolutely the right response, right? And it's gonna, and it's gonna make them vulnerable in the same way, and then you know exactly how to counter that. Uh, and it sort of creates this sort of uh, this similarity between the two systems that makes it a lot easier to learn them. Sure. So talk about blocking. I mean, that's new to MMOs for the most part. I mean, I'm sure some game that I probably haven't heard of has, has done it. But uh, talk about blocking in your game and how it changes just you know the way players in, engage with the combat. Well, yeah. So block is, uh, is, is first off, it's not just block. It's actually uh, a number of different things. But uh, we, we definitely wanted to make sure it was in there because it's sort of co so core to the Elder Scrolls IP, right? Like, you can just raise a, a weapon or a shield uh, and defend yourself at any time, and we wanted to create that same thing. Blocking is really uh, uh, is really gated by the stamina resource, meaning as long as I have stamina, I can do it whenever I want to. And you've got a pretty big full bar of stamina to to work with, right? The key is there's a choice, right? Blocking could mean 
right? Uh, just raising your shield and taking less damage from incoming attacks. It could mean walking up to someone and bashing them with your shield or with your, you know, the pommel of your, of your weapon and interrupting them. Or it could mean, uh, you know, sort of throwing yourself out of a stun uh, that, uh, you know, someone has, has applied to you. Uh, and each of those is going to consume pretty big chunks of stamina, right? You're always sort of determining how do I want to use this, this sort of precious stamina resource for defense, right? Do I want to break out of the stun right now, right? Knowing that that will make me less able to block in the future, or do I want to just go ahead and accept it because I don't think it's going to be that bad, right? And it creates this constant tac tactical decision where the stuff you do early in the fight can matter uh, later in the fight, and it doesn't just become this, I'm going to use my rotation against you, and you're going to use your rotation against me, and you know, whoever has better gear wins, right? We don't have that gameplay at all, right? It's tactics matters. Yeah, and <clears throat> what Nick was talking about using it defensively, um, I've used it offensively a lot in our play test where I'll just run up with block out so I don't have to worry about getting hammered as I'm trying to close the gap to get into somebody. So it works both offensively and defensively really well. And it's pretty cool when you see that, like, that in the PvP charge, right, all the warriors like get this. together and they all block and they yeah. work together as a phalanx. Like, that just happens naturally, yeah. but, but it's pretty cool when it does happen. Talk about how you how you reward players for playing well. I mean, you have uh, like explicit rewards that that come out and give you some little bonus for for using the system properly. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, so the system is not just a win lose uh, scenario. Um, you don't just beat the monster or die. That's not the only option. So whenever a monster deploys a tactic against you, for example, they wind up a big huge attack and you block it, the guy will go off balance and you can take advantage of it but also underneath there's this system called finesse. And what finesse does is it rewards you for reacting to those opportunities. And the more finesse you get throughout a fight, the more rewards you'll get. So you'll level faster, um, you'll get some experience, and you may eventually even get an item if you do everything really well. It's absolutely a, a philosophy of the overall game to have. Look at the world, play the world, don't play your UI, right? Um, we have a, a really exciting and, and sort of uh, beautiful world that you can explore and look at, and we want you looking at it, not at your hotbar, not at a bunch of numbers popping up, not at uh, you know buffs and debuffs that are, that are appearing somewhere in my screen. And so what we focus on is really using the the visuals, the effects that are in the world as the as the UI as indicators. So I think a pretty good example of that is. Uh, if you see a uh, uh, an enemy uh, storm go down, right? There's a little red ring around it that indicates to you, okay, that's bad, right? And if it's a if it's an allied one, it's green. Um, and uh, and there's lots of sort of in instances of individual things like that, rather than trying to show, okay, this guy has you know 16 debuffs on him, right? And that means you know this this for his stats, right? We we focus instead on let's just make everything really powerful and then have it have an in-world visual effect that. I can tell, so I know I know how to deal with it. Instead of, oh, there's just a bunch of numbers going on here that I have to try and figure out in order to do this battle. Right, and that that clean UI and the displaying of all the effects in game with the green circle, red circle, that helps out tremendously in PvP. Kind of like what we were talking about, how the people laying down the area effects are sort of guiding. If you see a bunch of green circles appearing in front, you're like, oh, okay, I can keep pushing forward. But if you see a ton of red ones coming at you, you're like, ah, we need to re we need to retreat. So uh, that philosophy echoes greatly. Uh, when it comes to battle awareness and what's going on in front of you. Because, you know, in PvP, we want you looking at the screen as opposed to you know, staring at that bar. I think the other big thing is there's a couple, there's a couple uh, major mechanics in our game that do happen in UI, right? Synergy opportunities, uh, unleashing my ultimate, uh, and, and a couple others, but those are two that are uh, obviously super cool. If you have a bunch of stuff going on in your UI, then when those things come up, you, have, you, you sort of are much less likely to notice them or care about them, right? Once we started stripping everything out, right, and, and left you with this sort of just the really clear, like, now is the opportunity to do this thing, people did it. And that also relates to, in PvE, we don't want you to be watching a monster and watching a cast bar start building up for the monster to unleash his powerful attack. Like, if a giant that's four times as big as you takes his maze and goes like this and holds it up, Odds are he's gonna hit you with it. Like you don't need a cast bar. Yeah, get out of the way. way. <laughs> he's gonna hit you with it. And it's gonna hurt really hard. So when we see a uh, a monster build up an attack and do a huge devastating attack, we want you to react to that. We want you to block. We want you to get out of the way. We want you to use your sweep sweep him under his feet and knock him down. We want you to do those things. We don't want you to play a UI game. So we want you to react to the monster and not the UI that's controlling the monster. So what's your favorite way to kill players with NPC scripting? Trick question. That's called. Trick question. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not supposed to kill a player, but 
Designers like to kill players All right, from time so, to time. Come on. So one of my favorite monsters is the Lich. And uh, obviously, he's pretty evil, loves to kill people, loves stealing souls. It's lots of fun. That's his <laughs> hobby on the weekends. Uh, so what he'll do is he floats in the air and he'll put something around on the ground. And if you get caught in it, it's like a, it's like a trap, right? If you get caught in it, he'll grab you up in the air and steal part of your soul and put you back down. What's your favorite thing that you've seen players do in test sessions uh, in PvP that you didn't expect to see? Or like tactics that, that kind of people came up with that, that were surprising to you? Uh, kind of what we talked about with the, the shield charge or the... Uh the two-handed sword charge, like seeing guys rush at you, you're like, you realize I'm laying down tons of fire in front of me, right? And they're like, I don't care, I'm still coming in to kill you. Like that is is surprising to me because seeing a lot of fire in front of you usually scares the crap out of you. But a lot of guys will just say, you know what, I don't care. I'm going to put up the swords, and I'm going to run through, and I'm going to pummel you. And uh, it's it's surprising when people do behaviors like that where you're like, all right, I'm laying down this massive pillar of of doom and death in front of me, but you're still going to charge through? Okay, and then you find out later on in feedback sessions that they had a row of healers behind them going, I got you, or I'm going to get you through. So a lot of the teamwork uh, has has come out here, which has been really great, uh, coming along with the, the UI, which helps train them to make them understand this. So uh, it's it's been a testament to the smaller UI and the fact that we're going with lesser abilities and keying off when people should use those things. The The surprise has been that how quickly people have picked it up. Best synergy in the game. Psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Inferno Psycho. Dead people, dead people cool. using PvP. Yeah. Uh, like, so that's obviously the coolest synergy in the game. Um, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, honestly, I think uh, the one that, that has turned out to be my favorite is, is Healing Reigns, which is a, is a really simple one. Right? It's just an area you put it down. Um, and any of my allies can run in there once and give themselves a heal, right? And the reason why I like it, and then what I found surprising about it was healing in, in, in MMOs is a lot of times super impersonal, right? Like, there's a bunch of people healing me, and I'm like, maybe I'll die, maybe I won't. And if I die, I'll complain, right? And if I live, I'll be like, okay, that was normal, right? There's no sense of like, oh, you did something really critical for me at that scenario, right? With this ability, it sort of like, it made me feel connected to my healer. Like, oh, that was such a good time to give me healing reigns because in three seconds, I'm gonna need to use it. Putting, putting down synergies is really for the players more of like a high five moment, go team. Um, or as opposed to... We've done it. We've high five. <laughs> or as, or as opposed to if the healer is just healing you, you're like, well, of course you're healing me. You're supposed to. That's your job. That's the only job you have. And if you're not doing that job, you're not my friend anymore. Whereas putting so down harsh. an... Yeah, but I'm say, I'm not on your team next month. That's, that's me. Whereas putting down a healing reins or putting down a area of a fire so you can go in and steal Cyclone, you're saying, thanks, buddy. I, I will go in there and, yeah. and spin in a I'll circle and make a tornado of death. Like, that's exactly what I want to do right now. So it's more of uh, teamwork in the game as opposed to teamwork on vent. And that's the stuff that surprises me the most. Out of like just seeing people pick that up is 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 great in PvP because normally people, uh, I don't want to go in there because I'm probably gonna die real quick and easy. But then, uh, how simple it is to to uh, synergize and work with the other people, it, it makes getting into PvP that barrier a lot lower. Thanks for taking the time to sit down and chat about combat with us, guys. We really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having us. Right, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.